Hey, what's going on everybody? So a few days ago, I got to go see a very large and very nice manufactured house that's for sale. About 1,900 square feet. I'll give you the specs here in a second. But I just wanted to say before I show you guys this video that part of what I've been doing on this channel is trying to have everybody explore more alternative living situations. So everybody's journeys to bliss are different. Some people want to spend a little bit more money to get what they, what they want. Some people want to spend less money and not go into you know too much debt. Everybody has different journeys. Everybody has different paths, and we realize that. That's why I'm showing you guys this option, this larger, a little bit more expensive home, because some of you out there are looking for a house just like this one. So I felt like it was important that we show these types of homes as well, and I'm excited because it is awesome. It's huge, it's beautiful, it's a pretty good price. It does not include transport or anchoring or any of that stuff, but keep an open mind. It's a really nice house. Let's have a look at it. So this is the Solitaire GE72. This manufactured house is 28 feet by 68 feet, and it is about 1,904 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. This is a gorgeous manufactured house. As seen, this house right here is $139,000, as you see it here. Beautiful house. So my question to you guys is, could you live in this.
So here's the front door, it's a pretty front door. You're immediately greeted by this really, really big living space. Big open floor plan. You have a closet right here at the entryway, beautiful floors. This living space is huge. This is a double wide. Look at these windows. Beautiful windows. Really nice fireplace area right here. Really nice. Lots of crown molding and details. It's really nice as well. Lighting underneath. Met by this beautiful kitchen. Full kitchen, huge island. Beautiful details. Man, that's really nice. Big double French door fridge. More double windows here. Really nice lighting. This is the dining area right here. As you can tell. Beautiful. Really high ceilings. Beautiful cabinetry. Look at that. They go all the way. It's really nice. Double sink, washer, oven, mounted microwave, that's nice. So then off the kitchen, we have the master bedroom. Big space. It's got the crown molding, goes all the way around. Big French doors that lead into the master bathroom, ensuite bathroom. And this is really nice. So walk-in shower. It's got the window above it too, it does not open. Got a separate sink over here. Got storage right there for towels and whatever else. Nice, so big soaking tub, man. That is a big, deep soaking tub right there. That is made to be soaking. Big window right here. This one, this window does open. It does, it slides open. You have the other sink right here, so it's double sinks, two sinks separate. Huge walk-in closet. Look at this. It's all the way there. And all the way here. And then back here you have the water closet, which is the toilet. That window does open and there's crown molding and a ventilation in there. So that's nice. So then we come all the way back out. Beautiful living space, love this. Now, this is a half bath. So you got the toilet and the sink right here, vanity. Little storage right here, half bath storage. That's nice. Does have a sunlight up here in the guest in the half bath. That's pretty nice. Let's in a ton of natural light. Big hallway here, spreads out. Ooh, this is really nice, man. So this is the laundry room, back door. This actually has a, this is like a mud room slash mud room too. Beautiful place to hang your coats and dirty shoes and you have laundry right there and then it comes over here and you have a laundry sink over here, which is really nice to have. Man, this is. Electrical, HVAC. So we come out of these barn or pub doors Got storage closet right here. Storage is always important. This crown molding, if you haven't noticed, it carries all the way through. It's really nice. What a good job. So here's the first of the three spare bedrooms.
closet. This takes us into the Jack and Jill bath. So separate water closet and walk-in or bath shower combo, which is nice. That window does open and there is ventilation. Toilet. Then you have this double sinks, really nice. Storage underneath and right here. So this takes us into our, one of the, the third of the four bedrooms. Like I said, this is Jack and Jill bath. Big window, man, that's a big window. And they've got closet here and it's pretty deep. No, it's not. Then we come back out into the hallway and now we've got the guest bedroom, the fourth bedroom. And it's the smallest of the four. Little closet like the other ones. And then we come back out into the kitchen living. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Comment below, could you live in this? Tell me your ideas, tell me your thoughts. Could you live in this, this manufactured house? And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys in the next Could You Live In This video.